Today, we have an iPhone 7 Plus, and check this out. As you can see, this thing is a bit bloated. Something is clearly wrong with it. Leave your best guess in the comment section down below. Swelling batteries are always a little bit scary, but let's open this thing up and see if we can fix it. Starting with two Penelope screws on the bottom. Wow, looking at this thing is super, super dirty. Look at that, and the screen's just bulging up. I don't even know if it's the battery. The second Penelope screw isn't even in the hole. It's getting pushed up a lot. Needless to say, I'm pretty confused. We're in the pry tool around the edge because I could definitely feel the adhesive. And opening it up, um, what the heck? Um, okay. With the screen being held up, we can get to work using the handy dandy helper. Link in description, by the way. I thought this battery was gonna be thick. Okay, enough talking. Let's get this thing swapped out. We got the screen completely separate, and that's how I like it. Let's get this battery out of here. Throw it on the heat pad. Instead of injecting it with alcohol like other people do, I got the time, so I'm gonna use this pad. A few moments later. Now that it's beautifully cooked, let's go get this thing out. I heated, I heated, I heated, I heated it up. Why is it so hard for me to say? I heated it, I heated it, I heated it, I heated it. Why is it so hard to say? I heated this phone up on the freaking heat pad. Uh, now that it's hot, uh, we're gonna take it out. I'm just gonna pick at this. And there we go, we're underneath. Now, I'm just gonna yank, I guess. Constant pressure, good thing I'm freaking He-Man. Slowly but surely, notice how I'm not jamming my finger onto the board. Smart move, Josh. Let's get a look underneath there. Not much to see. This is really weird. I could see the old adhesive underneath there. Not too sure why it's not coming up in one piece though. Alrighty, I stuck a pry tool underneath there using a plastic one so it don't go boom boom. So I'm just using my thumb on the battery and we are lifting up. Just like that, it's off. Not too sure what's up with this. I thought all this was gonna come off if I kept pulling that, but I guess not. That is super weird. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong in the comments. Now the battery's completely out and it definitely is a bit swelled, some outgassing action, but this is the part that's confusing me. I really assumed that all of this was gonna come off kind of like this if I keep yanking, but I don't know, weird. All I know is that XCAP, you better get it together. Talk to the customer and they gave me permission to use the exact same battery, an XCAP, same milliamps, same capacity, same brand. And we're going to see if this happens again, because I really need to know if you care. I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, this one swelled way too fast. I do know there's a bunch of other factors that go into it, but it's absolutely unacceptable for it to be around four or five months and for it to be swelled that bad. And it's saying service battery in the settings. Um, so now I guess I'm just going to rip all this off real quick. There we go, super weird. Now here with the new one, we're gonna be throwing it in. And I hooked up this new XCAP battery to a battery tester and it says all is well. Like I said, I talked to the customer. She was perfectly fine with me using the exact same brand just to see if this is gonna happen again. Like I said, hopefully it doesn't or else we're gonna have a problem, buddy. Let's throw it back together and we'll be good to go. And don't worry, I'll be showing you guys the battery health afterwards. At the beginning of it, it said service. At the end of it, well, you'll see. The top bracket's a little bit more annoying, so I'm gonna start with that one first. This is way harder to do while looking through a camera, by the way. And as always, on the 7 Plus models, for some reason, 
Seems like the Taptic engines get loose on these models a lot more than anything else. Like that one was pretty loose. So I always like to make sure I'm tightening those as well. So before I clean up the inside and replace the seal, I'm gonna unplug everything and then test and see if this thing powers on. So here we go. Ta-da! Beautiful. Now I'm gonna wait till it powers on all the way and then check the settings to see if we fixed it. You guys saw it power on. I don't wanna show any personal information, so I'm gonna be doing this off camera. And here we are. Obviously the same phone, as you can see by the Penelope screw that wasn't taken out. It's sad that I have to say that, but I know that there's going to be at least one weirdo in the comments. Maximum capacity back to 100%. I'm going to charge this up all the way so it's convenient for them, and it's going to go right back to the customer. Let me close this up all the way, and we're good to go. You just gotta get that- NANI? <sighs> crunch! This guy moaned at least this loud. Oh! Back to 100% capacity. I'm sure they're going to be happy. And just once again, before I get any annoying comment, the customer was okay with the exact same battery being installed. She knows it would be good for me if I could figure out if they suck or not. Just had to make that clear one more time. You know, on the internet, comments are always super nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a Josh Connect video. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.